I think that these specific women helped society to be what it is today. And if they weren't as brave as they are do for doing what they did, then things would be really different. And so I think that it's important for people to not just know like how it happened, but who was at the forefront and the people who were the catalysts of that movement because they were the ones who were willing to make that change and who were willing to lead everybody else, not just women, but everybody to make that change. And I think that's really important. Art is such a unique way for students to have expression. I mean, it's, it's expression in and of itself. And, and the fact that it's celebrating um, probably one of the most fundamental things that, that, you know, that people can have is that right to vote in their country. So I think that the partnership between art and celebrating the fact that women receive the right to vote is, is a perfect partnership just due to the fact that kids can really celebrate through through their artistic what you know through and this in our particular case it's through music I had read in the UMEA magazine about the Arts Advocacy Day on the Hill so I contacted the advocacy chair and um, she contacted me back in January and said that they're doing it a little bit different than they're celebrating the um, Utah suffrage and they had um, commissioned a song and so they invited us to be a part of it and they sent us the the song and so we just learned it from there and we're excited to join other schools and and celebrating Utah suffrage there walls to break down or trails to be I just think it's a really good song like the message is just so clear and it just talks about like these amazing women and how they're like their examples to all of us and how we can all like be champions of change we can all make that change and we all have that capability when the task seems impossible the song especially you know I was thinking it, it, there's a line that says we stand on the we stand on the shoulders of the heroes of champions of change I mean there's nothing that we as women could do without these these women a hundred years ago who who fought for women's rights and and the chance to have an opinion in government and so as, as a woman teacher you know teaching kids I think that it's it's all based on all of what, who came before and who, who carved the path. My friends, to fight against discrimination like Alberta Henry. Now, leading on to women's suffrage, we're talking about women's rights. Now, women's rights are basic human freedom rights, right? I think it's important for students to know about women's suffrage, especially the history of it in Utah, because it's really uh, not something they have noticed. Um, you know, they're born in the late 2000s. It's not really an idea that they have where women haven't always had this right, because in their world, their moms can go and vote, and same with their aunts or whoever. And so it's something they see and don't realize it was a fight to earn. So I think it's important for them to realize like, oh, not everyone had had the same rights back then, and still today there are places where people don't. So it's nice for them to realize that, and nice for them to really learn about it, and kind of see where there are places where girls still don't go to school and get an education because it's not a right for them. So I want them to know that they are fortunate, they are very lucky to have a school system where they can come in and learn how to get this free education. So I decided to incorporate this with my students because I felt it was important to really celebrate the 150th anniversary of women being able to vote, especially since um, it was in our backyard where it happened. Um, Seraphion was a Utahn. I thought that was important for them to realize that this big histor historic moment happened here, like 20 minutes from where we have school. Um, plus, we've been focusing on portraiture, so I knew that they'd be able to really get those details down and make the person look like them. Um, we had lots of books and things for them to draw from as well, so they had a lot of different um, ideas from history that they could choose from. So I hope from this project that they can specifically take home 
the ideas that women are strong, women are equal, um, that we have fought for our rights and here we are today and we still have them and that's a really beautiful thing and hopefully it really encourages them to still stand up for what they believe in boys and girls. A matriarch, she was kind of like the mother for her tribe. She watched out for everybody. I'm going to pass these trading cards around so you guys can kind of take a look at them. And then the So the Utah Heritage Project um, was uh, a real kind of fluid relationship that stemmed from the Utah Film Center. Um, we have been working with Michelle Walker there with some of the Tumbleweeds Film Fest and we're going to send our kids down to Tumbleweeds and then we're bringing in one of their professional development trainings. And as Michelle was in our school and seeing the art that we were doing and seeing some of the stuff that we were involved with, Michelle suggested uh, the Better Days Utah Heritage Project and we got in touch with Naomi with that project and she was great and our fourth grade teachers jumped right on board with that and were really enthusiastic about it. So we moved forward with it. Um, we thought it was a great opportunity for our students, especially in fourth grade, um, with that core Utah heritage to really get to know um, some of the amazing things that are happening in our state this year, right now. I think it's amazingly important, um, especially with what um, I personally did today with some of these students, in this telling of their story. I was really inspired by um, May Timimbo, Timimbo Perry and her kind of tagline and motto of what is your story? What story do you want to tell? Um, I think that's important for our kids to see the legacy that has been left before them, but then also to think forward to what legacy are they going to leave for those who come after them. And I think art is just such a magnificent way for them to express that without so much pressure um, to do it in a, a formal way or in a way that's right or wrong. Art is just so free-flowing and so um, wonderful at just letting kids express who they are in the moment and relaxing, calming, um, really, really neat to see what things come out. I hope um, that they take a greater sense of responsibility um, for what they have and for using what they have and taking advantage of what they have in productive ways and ways that extend outside of themselves. Um, I really want them to appreciate the effort that has gone before them and the milestones and the um, different challenges that have been overcome to give them what they have today. And I hope they gain a greater sense of responsibility to carry that torch forward and to push the envelope of what is possible today um, so that those generations that follow will have even more amazing opportunities than what they have right now today.